Hello, in this video I like to demonstrate the concept for, a, let's call it an advanced machine condition monitor or a process uh, monitor. Um, in one of my videos I estimate two years ago I showed how to connect the data, the sensors, the informations from all the drives um, to the cloud, to IBM, to AWS, whatever. And uh, the goal behind all of that uh, and all using the data and the sensor is to get more uh, transparency on the condition, on the state of process or of the machine itself. Today um, I like to show an uh, approach how to use the uh, machine learning algorithms um, to be used within um, the Linux CNC or the machine kit um, to do some um, monitoring, condition monitoring, process monitoring directly on the control of the machine. Uh, machine learning or artificial intelligence someone, some um, uh, some people call it. Um, there is for the Python because Python will be a preferred language because it um, fits good for integration in the Linux CNC. Um, we use the or we can use uh, this so-called Science Kit Learn machine learning in Python. It's um, it's very good documented. I guess it has uh, quite of big um, community and um, there are uh, many tutorials and examples for classification, regression and uh, clustering. Yeah, um, how is the integration done? Just some, um, some um, words in overview, later we can look uh, maybe in detail. Um, as I have uh, realized or introduced uh, two years ago, um, I collect the data within the interpolation uh, cycle um, in a, in a real-time module, in a real-time component written in uh, for the Linux CNC. And this real-time uh, component does um, uh, calculate some features, for example, the effective value, the maximum value, minimum value um, within the collected um, block, within the collected data block. And um, therefore, this module can be triggered from outside. I call it a logger beat, and the logger beat came from the non real time part and says, okay, start collecting, stop collecting, start collecting, stop collecting. And so there are packages collected in real time and out of these packages features are calculated. Um, the sensors or the input um, for, the, for these uh, modules are the, the position x, y, z, three positions, um, then the speed of the um, four drives x, y, z and the spindle and the, the torque or the, the current used to, to drive this uh, uh, four axis or this three axis. So in sum you have uh, 27, um, 27 features or attributes because um, each, each sensor or each information, out of each information three uh, features are calculated and they build then um, a data set for the non-real-time space. And this data set is then um, used, you can store it, you can send it to cloud and uh, you can uh, use it uh, for supervised machine learning to um, train um, or to get first of all uh, the data and then to train the, the model. And therefore I would like to <coughs> demonstrate this a little bit. Um, here I've programmed, um, I call it uh, the AI monitor, um, and it has a free, free simple, free simple steps, and that's the, from my point of view, the very, the very most advantage of using 
of using uh, this these libraries in Python because they are so simple to use and there is so much uh, computation uh, behind and so you have uh, three three uh, steps first is uh, collect data collect save it set a, set um, set a label or set a, a class to the data because uh, the, the approach is here to use classification and the third step is use the model train the model and use the model for the prediction and uh, um, to start and stop um, collecting data I have um, implemented an, a special keyword an M, M command um, for example M131 starts the collection I will see you here in the, in the uh, command window you see start collect and if you type M130 it stops the, the data collection and prints out uh, the collected data just for debugging information. You can reset the data collection and of course you can use this um, keywords within an, um, an NC program. I reset the data collection and uh, by the way you can uh, store and save the, the, tra the trained models. This is a kind of a model management so if you have a let's say a special work piece or a, a special condition what you want to, to observe you can train a model and you can serve and save and load the model. I will now demonstrate um, this with a, a kind of a, a test piece. It's just um, just uh, as a small movement, I will uh, set the zero, zero of, of this accordingly. Okay, this is, we call this is now zero. Zero in X, zero in Y, zero in Z, and uh, now we, uh, a little bit more. So and now we um, I have to look. This is now the test piece, and we do the same. We first train the data. Data is reset. Um, we start it, and it's uh, let's call it a it's an, an idle case. It's uh, without any load because there are no no chips. So it's an, an, an let's say an, an air cut. Um, you see it. It's a movement in uh, both axes, and uh, the the data collection is started. And now it's stopped. You can see it here. It's uh, 20, 24 data sets. Uh, by the way, the, the collection rate, the training rate is once per second. But the, the, um, the, um, the, um, the collection rate of the sensors is um, 1000 times per second. And that uh, from 1000 uh, values, there is um, calculated uh, from Blockwise, uh, one one feature per second. So okay, now I say this is the. Let's say this is class one. Train this, uh, mark this data to class one. Um, now I don't. I simulate um, um, the load by increasing the the depth of cut by two millimeters. Um, I again start. Started. <coughs> now we see uh, also it's working. So this is all a, a, a live demonstration. You say we have again some more uh, data 
and this at the last point collected data I say okay um, this would be my case 2 my my class 2 I label it to class 2 um, now okay, again give it another another case another uh, approach um, increasing that started what's the problem so another case it's it's a little bit more low because um, the depth of cut is, uh, is higher but it's the same and the idea is to have a kind of a process monitoring how because this is a raw material and uh, it's not always the same you think about you have to do it this 100 times and you want to monitor is it a, a good process is it a bad process and so on again we have some um, data collected and I uh, mark this let's say it as 4 and now I hit the button uh, train the model and I will edit this program now not uh, collecting the data just using the trained model by prediction to reload this Okay. So now if I, if I put it away and uh, start it, it should, it should show um, class 1 because it's an, an, an air cut and uh, yeah, the next, next one I will put in the, the 2 millimeter case. It's an, an air cut, and yeah, maybe it's it's uh, not 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 trained enough much, and the monitor's off. I will have to look for. A, let's see. Give it the same position. And start. It's class two now because now it's the normal, the normal cut. You see it here. Um, this would be the normal case. Here is some some more load. It's it's higher. It's getting the class two. Maybe we can simulate some some uh, some mistake. Um, increase it <coughs> next time and uh, put it uh, um, in, a, in a slope. You can see what's what's going on, and uh, I would guess it should be all remain in the class four. See it now it's, um, it's let's say the, the bad case permanently permanent permanently the bad case because I have put it in a, in a slope it's 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 wrong position and therefore the load is higher so okay.